Are you tired of struggling to grow your small trading account? Are you ready to take your trading to the next level in 2023? Well, get ready to witness some of the most powerful and profitable price action trading setups that will revolutionize the way you trade. In this video, we'll reveal the secrets to unlocking massive gains in your day trading account using our carefully selected best price action setups. Get ready to watch your profit skyrocket and your dreams become a reality. Don't miss out on this opportunity to transform your trading game in 2023. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. And before we begin with these high probability setups, I wanted to ask you a very important question. Did y'all miss my voice? Well, I'm back, so make sure you click the like button on this video. Type boom in the comments below. Also, subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss out on any of my future videos showing you amazing trading strategies using TradingView. All right, guys. These smart money price action setups are based on market structure with supply and demand zones. In trading, a supply zone is a price level where there's an excess supply of a particular currency resulting in a potential resistance area for the price to overcome. In it is a price level where sellers are likely to enter the market, outnumbering buyers and causing the price to stop rising or even reverse. From the price action perspective, market sees this area as expensive, which causes buyers to close their long positions and sellers to open their shorts. The outcome of this double action is what makes the price reverse from the supply area. On the other hand, a demand zone in trading is a price level where there's excess demand for a particular currency, resulting in a potential support area for the price to bounce from. From the smart money perspective, it views the market in this area as cheap, which causes sellers to close their short positions and buyers to open their long positions. The outcome of this double action is what makes the price reverse from the demand area. Overall, understanding supply and demand zones is an important part of technical analysis and trading and can help traders make informed trading decisions based on market structure and price action. Now that we have a better understanding of supply and demand, let's take a look at some of the key supply and demand areas on the chart that we consider optimal trading zones. Firstly, turning points. A turning point is a price level or point in time where the direction of the market changes from bullish to bearish or from bearish to bullish. Turning points can occur at key support or resistance levels as well as psychological levels and trend lines. These minor swing levels in, in between the turning points are considered to be support and resistance areas, but the turning points are regarded as extreme supply and demand levels which could provide the best trading opportunities. These turning points can be important for us traders because it can help to identify potential entry and exit points for our trades. Next, we have our major levels of support and resistance. For a level of support and resistance to become a major level of market structure, we need to have the following confluences. Firstly, the level needs to have multiple rejections from that zone. Secondly, the level needs to have acted as both support and resistance levels in the past. Lastly, the level was recently respected. The last type of supply and demand structure that we'll be using is higher time frame zones or HDF key levels. These levels can be identified on the higher time frame and should carry more weight in your analysis than lower time frame zones. Many of the key levels you find on the lower time frames are invisible when you're using daily, weekly, or monthly time frames. However, the visually obvious levels on the higher time frames are extremely important. Today's video is sponsored by Trader Edge, the backtesting software I personally use. You guys have seen me using it in a bunch of my other videos because backtesting with Trader Edge is three times more effective than traditional methods like spreadsheets. It also provides you with an edge score, which is determined by matrices like profit factor, average winning and losing trades. This means you can compare different strategies according to their edge score. So make sure you check out their website. I've got a link to it in the description below. So yeah, check it out. Now that we have a better idea of market structure, key levels and smart money concepts, let's take a look at the different types of setups we use to enter a trade. The trading setups can be categorized as continuation and reversal patterns. Let's start with the trend continuation setups. The first setup is called a double top and double bottom pattern. A double top or bottom is a popular trading pattern that smart money traders are widely using. However, keep in mind that we have two rules for a valid double top. First, the wick of the lower candle needs to test at least the body of the higher one 
and second, the body of the higher candle does not exceed the wick of the lower one. The same thing is valid for a double bottom. This trading setup is a trend continuation strategy, so avoid using it when we have no obvious trending market. The first step is we identify the direction of the trend, then wait for the market to make a valid double top if we are in an uptrend or a valid double bottom if we have a downtrend. On the chart, we have the euro dollar one hour time frame we can see and we are in an uptrend and the market is making higher highs and higher lows. This means we have a bullish bias. Then market made a double top and broke it, broke it to the upside signaling a continued. The next step, we will draw a line at the close of the highest candle for the price to touch that line and then look to execute our trade for the entry you could use multiple candlestick formation such as a long wick rejection or bullish engulfing pattern. Place a stop loss one ATR below the lowest point of the, of the wick. For those of you that aren't familiar with the average true range or ATR, it's an indicator that measures market volatility and it gives you the average size of the previous 14 candles and default settings. So here ATR is 18.5 pips, meaning we will place our stop 18.5 pips below the lowest point of the candle. For the first take profit level, you can make your trade break even by closing half of your position when the price reaches your first level. And for the second, you can target the next level of structure. Now let's move on to the next smart money concept setup, which happens to be very simple, but so powerful. This setup is based on the 786 Fibonacci retracement level, and it is best to use it on pairs such as gold. This trading strategy is also a trend continuation setup to use and use it when you can clearly identify the trend. We're in an uptrend and the market is continuously making higher highs and higher lows. How we approach the market is, we put a Fibonacci retracement tool from the highest high and the highest low, and set a buying order precisely on the 786 level. Our stop will be a couple of pips below the recent higher low, and we will target the recent higher high point. Trend continuation trading setups have higher win rates, but if you want to make trades with a great risk to reward ratio, you have to trade reversals. So let's jump into our key reversal trading setup. In this technique, you could use higher time frame key levels with reversal patterns. Meaning for this trading setup, we use two time frames in a higher time frame, and we want to identify a major level of structure as we mentioned earlier. A major level of structure is a key level that has recently acted as both support and resistance multiple times. Here on the pound dollar on the four hour time frame, we're in a downtrend, so we have a bearish bias. Also, we can identify this major level of structure in front of the market as a price moves towards this level we know that this movement is a short-term downtrend in the lower time frames. We expect the price to reject this area, so we zoom into the one-hour time frame to observe the price behavior once it gets there and possibly open a long position once price gets to our key zone. We only need a double bo bottom pattern to signal a possible trend change for the short-term uptrend. We will open our long position on the second test as market prints a bullish engulfing candlestick. Our stop loss will be one ATR below the lowest point of the swing low, and we will track our profit till we reach the next level of structure in the higher time frame. So the strategy works on different time frames and instruments in the market, and feel free to test it for yourself against the instruments that you like to trade, okay? Now, the strategy and the indicators in this video are completely free to use, but if you're looking for an amazing premium indicator, I personally use Luxalgo Premium for my trading, and I highly recommend it to anyone that wants more success in the markets. I've got a link to it in the description below, so make sure you check it out. And if you wanna see the trades that I'm actually making, like this one that I recently posted that got 114% return, check out my free Telegram channel and join my all access Patreon. Links to those are in the description below as well. And if you want another awesome trading strategy using some of the best indicators on TradingView, check out this next video. I'll see you on the next one.